Hi, it's Kathy from Fieldwork Connections. Today I am not in Sydney. I am 30 minutes north of Mudgee, walking along the banks of the Golden River, doing the drip walking trail. And it is spectacular along here. There's this huge sandstone outcrop along the side of the river and lots of beautiful gum trees and other vegetation growing along the river. It is cold, but that's okay. The sandstone is part of the Narrabeen group, which is Triassic in age. Um, placing it at about, well, it's a bit older than 220 million years old, maybe 240 million years old. Um, when we're thinking about the geological sequence that is underneath the Hawkesbury sandstone in the Sydney area, um, it's like at the basement of the Sydney basin. And the Narrabeen group is also um, those rocks you can see in some of the headlands of the northern beaches and also the Three Sisters are part of the Narrabeen group. So the rock down in this area here is very fine grain sandstone meaning that the depositional environment was quieter than when we move further up here. We've got the larger pebbles, smooth pebbles, meaning they've come a long way, but that the river was flowing faster when it deposited them. So there's this massive sandstone outcrop along the Goulburn River. And the sandstone has really large pebbles through it and it's quite poorly sorted, suggesting to me that the river was flowing quite fast at the time um, and then allowing these larger ooh, <laughs> sediments to fall out. Probably shouldn't touch it and cause more erosion, but it's so beautiful along here. Look behind me here. These beautiful big gum trees. It just keeps going up. I'm going to keep walking. I was wondering what these beautiful big trees were along the river. And here's one down low enough. And you can see where the leaves come out from the branch opposite each other. Meaning that it's an angophora. And it has rough bark all the way up. So in the Sydney area, that would be Angophora floribunda, but I'm not sure if that's the same here. They don't get as big in the Sydney area. Could just be a different subspecies. I'm interested to know just how healthy this river is because as I'm watching it flow through this beautiful sandstone area, it looks pretty clean. It's only slightly turbid. It's a little bit milky white. Um, but there's no signs of other pollution and contamination. I just don't know what's upstream. I mean, I know there's coal mines in this area. I know that um, there's vineyards, so there could be many other practices that are going on within this catchment. So what I actually wanna do is test the pH of the water and then compare it to the pH of the natural sandstone around us.